Uh, good afternoon. We're here inside our uh, M1 simulator car uh, with another of our volunteer interviews. Uh, sir, can you tell me your name? Hi, I'm Cameron. Cameron, nice to meet you, Cameron. What is your age? Uh, I'm 20 years old. 20 years old, and what town are you from? Hampton Bays. Hampton Bays, you had quite a ride. Oh, absolutely, but it's worth it. Oh, great. I'm glad you think so. Um, Cameron, what do you do for a living? Well, I, uh, I work at Otis Ford currently, uh, delivering parts, and I clean the shop. Fantastic. That's great. And um, how long have you been a part of the Oyster Bay Railroad Museum? Uh, I only joined recently in like May when uh, my friend brought me out here like with my skills set. He said, you know, you'd be great to come out here. What is your skill set? Well, I'm very good at um, wire wheeling. And, okay. Like, restorationist kind of stuff, preservationist kind of stuff. So basically cleaning and prepping parts so that uh, yeah, basically they don't rust away. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. You've been working on anything down here specifically you'd like to mention? Uh, the ping pong car. I was working on uh, like the seat contraption things. Okay. I wouldn't know the exact name for it, but somebody here probably would. But I noticed that they were uh, sitting out and about and nobody was really taking care of them. And I was like, okay, well, I'll come here next weekend and, you know, bring my wire wheel and we'll take care of them. And that's just what I've been doing ever since. Sounds like a pretty important job. Uh, you know, it's the little things that matter, you know, that build up to something huge. Fantastic, yeah. Well, that's very important because actually those seat brackets um, support the seats, and if we lost those, we could never replace them. Oh, thank so you. you are definitely doing an important job. Um, can you tell me um, what made you decide to join the Rare Museum? When you came down here, what made you say, you know what, I want to be a part of all this? Well, I'm a member of the Twin Forks uh, NRHS, okay. and I was doing a lot of work out there too. But uh, right now they're doing uh, a lot of welding, and so they didn't really need my skill set at the current moment in time. And so I was like, you know, entering to restore some railroad equipment. And my, like I said, my friend brought me out here, showed me what it was all about. I was like, oh, I'd love to come out here and help out. And so that's what I've been doing, you know, while Twin Forks is finishing their welding project. And look at me a call if they ever need me too. But like. Just love to restore railroad equipment, essentially. So dividing your time for a common cause. Exactly, yeah. That's fantastic. And um, if you were going to tell somebody off the street, let's say maybe they like trains or maybe they have no interest in trains whatsoever, and you were to tell them why you feel they should get involved with this, why they should come down here on a Saturday and work their heart out, what would be the reason you would give them for doing that? Well, I personally, I think it's fun. I mean, you come here, you laugh with people, you have a skill set you're contributing to like a common goal that everybody has and after a while they become like family it, it, like that's with anything like I was in scouts before this and I aged out I got Eagle Scout and so I was looking for somewhere else to like you know group up with people and have like a family feel and railroading community everybody knows everybody essentially and that's why it's a really good you know thing you get that sense of family here Especially, if, even if you're not interested in trains, you know, you still get that feeling when so you're the, here. So the camaraderie and the, and the friendships you create. Yeah, exactly. The stories and, and like, the laughing, you know, it's just, it, it's, a, a, it's a good community feel, essentially. Very comfortable. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's fantastic. Listen, I want to thank you very much for your time. I'm going to let you get back to work. I know you got a project yeah. today you wanted to work on. So uh, thank you for your time, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you.